Have you ever wanted a CRPG with a character creator that was insanely detailed? Well, if the answer to that is yes, I think we've got it in Dragon's Dogma 2. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, it's Hubert Shorter here with another video from It's Gaming. Now, I put my headphones on because I'm going to be reacting to a video that was released recently by IGN, where they spent quite a bit of time in the character creator for Dragon's Dogma 2. I think this is important because one of the failings, I think, of BG3 was the fact that their character creator could have been a little more complex. A, a minor gripe, but, you know, apart from that, absolutely brilliant game. So I just want to react to some of the options just so that you can get a better perspective in terms of what to expect when the game is released on the 22nd of March. So we're going to let this video play and then I'll stop it at various points to add my commentary. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. We're continuing this month's IGN First on Dragon's Dogma 2 with a detailed look at its new, robust character creator. The original Dragon's Dogma had a pretty intense character creator, but Dragon's Dogma... Now, I have to say, the representation of the characters does look quite good. And I believe they achieve this through something called photogrammetry. So let's just carry on and find out exactly what they did. Dogma 2 has upped the ante for just how detailed you can get for your character and ideal pawn. Dragon's Dogma 2 director Hideaki Itsuno explained during IGN's visit to Capcom in Japan that... Now, just look at this. Um, uh, I mean, these are basic um, uh, characteristics that you'd expect to find in a character creator, but it does go deeper than this. Who would have thought that trap size was something that you'd want in a character creator? And this is what I'm talking about. They've been very granular in terms of their approach. And I really appreciate the, the amount of time that they've obviously spent into setting up this character. So you've got quite a few sliders related to things like height. Now, I'm actually wondering if that represents the an actual height in centimeters. Maybe, maybe not, but we'll find out soon enough. A character creator was something they put a lot of work into for the first game. But with better hardware performance this time around, they could add as much freedom to the system as they wanted. Itsuna-san said, The problem is that this means that the act of creating a cool character or the character that you want to see... Be I think this point here is very important, actually. Because there's been so much detail put into the character creator, it's as if you are creating something from a lump of clay. So every single detail is going to be down to you. And that's exactly what people want, especially people who like CRPGs. That's what you want in a character creator. So I actually think they've nailed this. It becomes no different from doing so with clay. You could have your ideal character in mind, but you'd basically need to be an artist to form that character with your own hands. So that's where we had to begin when deciding how character creation would work. He thought maybe they should make the character creator simpler, but because the game... Again, you can see lots of things that you can change there in terms of the head, and that's just one characteristic. There are so many more. I'll let it carry on. If artists wanted something that detailed, they worked hard to create a system that gives players access to every available setting if they want it, while also offering a simpler creation method. They accomplished this by having two body types for each race, nine base bodies per type, and an uncountable number of base... Now, this is where the photogrammetry stuff has come in because they've apparently scanned hundreds of actual faces to come up with all of these options available to the user once they go through this process. Again, this is something that I think is absolutely awesome and exactly what CRPG players have been looking for. These head variations created from nearly a hundred real human face scans. From there, you can make the final adjustments yourself. 
giving Dragon's Dogma 2 a system where anyone can create attractive, realistic-looking faces without needing to be an artist. The options are indeed vast, and you can get incredibly granular while editing a character. Um, it, it goes without saying that there is an immense amount of detail. The term they used in the video was granular, and I truly appreciate that. I mean, look at all of those settings just related to the jaw and chin. Absolutely mind-blowing what's going on here. Capcom have done a good job. If you so choose. There are 40 types of muscle styles and 12 sliders for just a human's nose, for example. Art director Daigo Ikeno admitted, I imagine some people getting themselves stuck in the creator and having trouble starting the game. Now, that's going to be me. I know I am going to spend ages and ages in the character creator. So once this game is released, I think I'll do a video where, and I'll probably stream it live, where I will set up my character. It might be a very long process, but again, it's going to be awesome. I'm absolutely sure of that. That said, I think it's a creator that will be able to meet the needs of most people. I'm one of those people who consider a character creator as deep as the one in Dragon's Dogma 2 as the first boss, as I can easily spend more than an hour happily tweaking a character, which I was tempted to do at Capcom Japan despite my limited time hands-on. Of course, the most obvious new addition to the character creator is a brand new race, the Beastron. Anthropomorphic big cats Itsunasan wanted to add since the first game, but could- So this will be interesting. Um... Not too sure if I'll be creating one of these characters. I might do that in a, uh, another playthrough of it. Who knows? I'll I'll make that decision once I get my hands on the game. But it's great to see that we can create these characters where we can add things like fur and all the other things that a modern graphics card now can actually do. Due to hardware limitations, specifically rendering the fur on many subjects on the screen at once. To make sure the Beast Wren had enough diversity compared to humans, Ikeno-san explained that the team looked at the kinds of patterns and colors found in felines and made sure that the kind of variety the players would surely want were included. Ikeno-san concluded, I hope that players will try changing both Beast Wren and human faces to see what they can make. We have more on Dragon's Dogma 2 as part of January's IGN First coming soon, so keep checking back for more. Well, there you have it. Um... It is absolutely mind-blowing what the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator is capable of, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I'd like to know what you think about DG2. Are you going to be getting it? Are you going to be spending hours upon hours in the character creator? So do post in the comments below, and of course, do subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. So, you know, please do subscribe and like the video. My name is Hubert A. Shorter, and I will see you in the next one.